Welcome! During this tutorial, we will look at how to file your completed raffle financial report form using our online application at sos.sc.gov. Before you begin the filing, here are some important things to know. If you haven't already completed the raffle financial report form, you will find the form on the raffle page of our website at sos.sc.gov. If you need assistance completing that form, we have provided a step-by-step -step tutorial that can be found on our tutorials page. You will need the raffle financial report form completed for the year you are reporting and saved as a PDF document. If you have had a change to your fiscal year end date and the report will not match the dates we've asked you to file, please contact us at 803-734-1790 or email us at charities at sos.sc.gov. When you are ready to file the financial report, log into your dashboard and select the Financial Reports tab. If you need assistance with logging into your dashboard, please view the Accessing Your Online Account tutorial. Now that you've reached your dashboard, select the Financial Reports tab. From the list of reports, select the icon under the File Report heading that correlates to the fiscal year dates of the report you will be filing. On this next page, enter the fiscal year beginning and ending dates. These dates should match the system dates on this page. If you are filing a report that has a different fiscal year end date, please notify us of the change at charities at sos.sc.gov. If the organization indicated on page 1 that it held zero non-exempt raffles, check this box and use the Next button to move to the next page. If reporting a non-exempt raffle, use the Add Drawing Details button. When completing the fields on this screen, do not enter any symbols such as the dollar sign or commas, only enter a decimal point if needed. You'll start this page by completing the drawing date at the top of page 2, and fill in the following information from your form. Prize total values from line 4, gross receipts from line 5, adjusted gross receipts from line 8, raffle expenses from line 9, and net receipts from line 12. When you're done, use the Save button to move to the next page. If you have more than one raffle you are reporting, use the Add Drawing Detail button to add your additional files. If there are no other raffles to report, use the Next button to upload your report. On this page, use the Browse button to locate your raffle financial report. If you have more than one raffle you are reporting, use the Browse button to add your additional files here. If our office has requested a correction to a report that has been submitted, the corrected report should also be uploaded here. The original report will be removed by staff once the corrected report is accepted. Use the Financial Report button to submit the report. Please note that all information submitted online is subject to review and verification. If there are any follow-up questions or requirements, our office will contact you by email. You may print this page down for your records. When you are ready, use the Return to Dashboard button. From here you can file additional reports if needed, check for outstanding violations or fines to be paid, complete a renewal if it's time, or log out. Thank you for joining us today. If you need further assistance from us on this topic, please email us at charities at sos.sc.gov. Additional tutorials are available on our website at sos.sc.gov. Navigate to the online filings heading and click on the tutorials link.